Hi, it's Julie Mills here. Uh, today I'd like to show you how to use uh, ChatGPT to respond to Google My Business reviews all automatically using a tool called Zapier. So for instance, you might have um, a Google My Business here where you're getting Google reviews. Yep. The Google reviews get posted and then you've got the option to reply like this. Yep. Uh, so what this video is all about, it's about being able to reply automatically to these reviews as they're posted uh, and the response will be reflecting back what the respondee has said here. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, every time a new review is submitted, we're going to filter them first uh, to say only people with four, that give us four or five stars will proceed. Chat GPT will then analyze this, uh, write a suitable response, and then Zapier will push that response back in and it'll register here as a reply. So you get something looking like a reply like that. Okay, so how do we go about that? Well, the first one is, first thing is, we're gonna use chat GPT to do that. Okay, so uh, you may already be using chat GPT like this, yeah, to write bits of copy, okay? Uh, so the free version will not work with Zapier. You need, the, you need to be able to do the API calls, okay? So you might have a free, free account of this, but you try and hook it up to Zapier and it won't work. You'll get an error out message, okay? And it took me a while to work out what was going on there, okay? So what you need to do first is go to this page. So it's a uh, HTTPS colon slash slash platform dot openai.com you see here i've got per i've got a personal account here yeah a personal account uh view view api keys which we'll need in a minute yeah to so create our api keys uh but we need to upgrade it yeah you need to set up a paid account okay uh, and the way it works is it's like a pay you go deal every time an api call is used it um it comes from your, you get billed for at the end of the month. So it's very small cost, but obviously the cost depends on how much you use it. So it's hard to say, but in order to get access to the API, you can either set up a paid account and have your payment method set up, okay? And then you'll see here later on, you see here, here's where we've set up the API keys, yeah? You can set up a brand new one. You can cancel that one. They show you create a new API key, call it test. Yeah, create the key, and that's that's the details I need later on the API key. Okay, so it's generated that. So that's something you need to set up before you look at Zapier, or else none of the rest bit will work. Okay, now we're going to jump into Zapier. And you see here, I've built one. I built a app called Google My Business Responder. you'll see it's a four step SAP, yep. So the first one is a trigger. So if you uh, very quickly, if you're not familiar with Zapier, it all works on triggers and actions. The trigger in this case is when a new review is left in the Google My Business. Okay, so click on that. I'll click on edit that, we can see it. Okay, this is the trigger. So I've already hooked it up to my Google My Business. Yep. Uh, so Zapier is talking to Google My Business. The event that's gonna trigger is when a new review is left on my on my Google reviews. Click on continue. We change that to self. We change that to mine for testing purposes. So it's hooked up to my Google My Business. Click on continue. Uh, and then Dublin, don't need Dublin, that's wrong. What you need to do is go to location. You see here, it's given the option to connect to my Google My Business. Okay, now it took me quite a while to work out because for me, I wasn't seeing that option. Yeah, when I went to account, uh, continue. I basically, I'll click on here. It just wouldn't, it was like that for location. It would not give me the options for location to be me. Subsequently, I found out what it was is on, on, on the settings on my Google My Business. Yeah, 
I've got my primary business location here in Stockport, but I'd also put like sub sub locations where I provide services. So I had like London, UK, Leeds, UK, Nottingham, UK, trying to sort of gain the SEO. But by having all those sub locations, it was stopping the zap work. So if you don't see any options here, it like being able to choose this radio button here, it's probably because you've got sub locations set up on my Google My Business. And what I had to do was just go and delete all those. As soon as I did that, this worked. Okay. So watch out for that one. I click on continue, testing the trigger. And it's found one of my reviews on my website on my Google reviews. Yeah. So that's what this is Al here. So I've already responded to this, but if you look here, where are we? It's this one here. So it's it's randomly it's a test. It's pulled in this review here. Go back. So it's Al there, yeah. So it's pulled in it's found a review and then I'm gonna continue. I'm now going to use a filter in, in Zapier. I'm going to filter this review. Basically, what I'm saying is here, if the review's got either five or four stars, it will proceed. So because Al gave me a five-star review, five, it matched, and he would have continued through, through, so continue. Now we get to the interesting bit here, is where I've connected up, using the API previously, I've connected up my chat GPT, yeah, so I've selected chat GPT uh, and it's pulled in. The event is a conversation. I click on continue. Continue. Okay, and here what I'm doing here is in the user message. This is the review that Al has left for me in this test. That's the So I'm giving chat GPT something to chew on. It's got the response that uh, someone has typed in. Yeah. Model temperature. I have to also say you are a useful assistant user. I have to look standard. I don't think you need that one, anymore. but anyway, you don't need that. Click on continue. Yeah, let's re re uh, retest. I'm just retesting it now. Continue. Okay, see, so we're looking here the test. You see here, this is what Al wrote. Yeah. Uh, and this is what ChatGPT has written for me. Thank you for sharing your positive experience. So that's the reply to the review that ChatGPT has just written for me. Continue. Yeah. Now my final action is Zappy is now gonna go back and talk to my Google My Business and create a reply. So it's connected to my Google My Business. It's going to create a reply. Click on continue. It's on my Google My Business. Continue. So in order to match back to the original review, it's looking for review name. So I get that by clicking on here, looking at the initial review that came in. And I've got review name. That's a unique identifier. So that ties uh, the new response back into the original review that was left. And here, I'm just merging in from ChatGPT, what ChatGPT wrote. So you see here, so that's, um, that's what, that was, that's what the, res, the initial, res, uh, the initial review was. And this is my message from ChatGPT, the reply. And that's, I'm just merging in here like that. Uh, I could continue. And then I just I can test the action, but I won't, do, I won't do that now because I don't update that review. But once it's tested, I can tick publish and turn on, and then that that will be uh, up and running. And, and so every after that, every new new review that's left, if it's four or five stars, we'll go through chat GPT writes a reply, and then Zappy takes reply and updates the original review with my reply. Okay, I hope you found that useful today. Okay, cheers now, bye.